Okay, so uh, three skills we're going to need for this chapter. Uh, this is after the uh, graphing lines. So we're going to need to work on the skill of calculating slope, then midpoint, then distance. So first we're going to start with slope. Uh, the abbreviation for slope is M. Just get used to using that and seeing it. And uh, there's several versions of it. Basically, it's either Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2, or some people like to do the Y2 first. It makes no difference, really. Uh, but however your teacher approaches it is fine. Um, now, the shortcut of this is basically we want the rise or the change in X over the, I'm sorry, change in Y is the rise over the run, which is the change in X. Okay, so that's change in Y, right? And then the run is the change in uh, X. Okay, and if you're, you know, if you remember from science, change in Y, change in X, it looks like that from science class. So a little bit of connection there. Now, let's actually take a couple of points and we'll, we'll calculate the slope using uh, rise over run. When we're able to graph, you know, one of the things I, I tend to like to graph if you can, okay? So we always try, if we can graph it, to make a right triangle out of it. So if I want the slope of AB, right, um, it's tilted. So I'm going to make a right triangle out of it by going straight down, straight across. And that's guaranteed to be a right angle. Vertical and horizontal, guaranteed to make a right angle. So, uh, the rise is the change in Y, the up and down, which in this case is 2. Uh, the change in X is this, distance across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so for AB, for segment AB, we're going to say the slope is going to be 2 over 6. Now, I didn't talk about whether it's positive or negative, okay? A quick way to decide if it's positive or negative. We read a book left to right, okay? We also read a graph left to right. So you have to think to yourself, as we move from left to right, is the, the segment moving up or down? Up is positive, down is negative. And we'll see a couple of those here in the few examples we do. We can reduce it. Um, everybody does their, you know, simplifying fractions differently. I like to factor, then we knock out common factors. Uh, so it is one third for the slope in this case. Okay. Now, how might we do that um, if there are coordinates given to us? All right. So let's say we give you the coordinates. Um, C will put at three, negative five. And we'll say D is negative 1, 1. Okay, so say we do something like that. We can use the formula if we understand that this is X1, that's Y1. This is X2, and that's Y2. Okay, pick one of the formulas. I'll write it down. The one I use is this one. Uh, change in Y, Y1 minus Y2 over the change in X, uh, X1 minus X2. I'll sub in y1 is negative 5, y2 is 1. Keep the subtraction sign in there. Uh, x1 is going to be 3, and take away, now this is tricky, negative 1. All right, so what we get is negative 6 over 4. And again, if you want to reduce, uh, let me slide that over a little bit. Again, I like to take out a common factor. They both can have a 2 coming out of it. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, those knock out. Our slope is going to reduce to negative 3 halves. So that's how you can do it uh, with algebra, right? And that's what we got to work towards. All right, one more. Okay. Uh, let's say that, um, let's say we have a, a slope that's going to look like this. Let's say we have EF right here. Okay. Uh, we're going to pause for a second, give you a chance to try that. So just hit pause and uh, try it yourself. See if you can calculate the slope of EF. Okay, the way I would do it, 
drop a, a line straight down until you're at the same level of F, straight across, right angle. Okay, so this is your change in Y. Remember, that's the up and down, so that's your rise. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So your rise number is 6, right? That's the up and down. Your run number is uh, 5, right? So I'm going to leave a little space after the equal sign, okay? I'm going to put the rise number on top, the run number on the bottom, and I'm waiting. Uh, I'm waiting to decide if it's positive or negative. Well, if I move from the left to the right and look at the graph, as I move this way, that line is going in a down direction. So that's going to get me a negative slope. So I always throw my negative on the top. It doesn't matter. Uh, you could throw it in front, you could throw it on the bottom, just have one negative sign to show a negative slope. Okay, so there it is. All right. So there's other types of problems to do with that. Um, you know, let's say the slope, uh, let's say the slope is given, okay? So you have GH. All right, let's say GH has a slope uh, that is uh, negative two-thirds. Okay, uh, if G has the coordinates negative 1, 6, and H has the coordinates 5, and we'll call it Y, all right, you'd have to find the value of Y, right? You could use algebra, or if it fits on the graph, we could try it algebraically. Um, I'm sorry, if it fits on the graph, we could try it graphically. So negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And that's G, and H is somewhere over here. I don't know exactly where. Somewhere where X is 5, right? Uh, let's use the slope of negative 2 thirds. Okay, that means down to uh, right 3. Let's see if that will help us. And if I go down to right 3, down to right 3. Oh, perfect. It lands right there. Okay, that's going to be H. So you can graph and find the value of y. Uh, h is the location, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 5, 2. So uh, y equals 2. You could have done it algebraically. Uh, let's just try that same thing. So the slope, negative 2 thirds, should be y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So let's see it algebraically. This is a little trickier. I'd rather graph, but... That's x1, this is y1, right? x2, y2. So uh, let's see, y1 is 6, y2 is we don't know. x1 is negative 1, x2 is 5. Let's uh, try to simplify here. And we can cross multiply, a lot of algebra, but so negative 2 times negative 6. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll distribute. So 18 minus 3y. Oh boy, this is a mess, but you could see graphing would be way easier here. Um, but you can get this done. So algebraically, y was 2. Um, again, there's probably other ways to do either way, algebraic or graphing. Okay, but y had to be 2 there. All right. So that's it for slope. Uh, what I'm going to get into on the next video is uh, work on, let's see, midpoint and distance. I'll try to put them in one uh, video.